Palmera Golf and Country Club in Singapore Marshall Training Program. The reason why we're doing this is to improve our current marshalling and also to support new marshal hire and new hires overall so that they can better understand what is required of a marshal itself. So what we've done here is we've broken it down into five sections. I've got golf rules, which is the 22, uh, 20 new changes which came into play in 2019. This covers most of the general rules and then also the key common rules that we find in general play and for club competitions. Number two would be golf etiquette. Now golf etiquette, we're covering ball marks, divots, bunkers, piece of play. We also have other things under golf etiquette, which would be the, uh, the red um, uh, markings on the golf course where the buggies should divert back onto the buggy tracks. Uh, we could also cover areas which uh, golfers come across in, in general play which we'll do that on a, on a more of an ad hoc basis with our marshals. Point number three is approaching golfers. This is very important that we come across as being helpful and supportive. Um, in slow play, dangerous play is a big thing here uh, in Singapore, whereby golfers will hit up in the group in front. It's sometimes very difficult to get that golfer who hit up to come up and apologize. So it requires a marshal support. In some cases, uh, the golfer in front will not accept the apology and then it may go into uh, certain uh, low-level litigation which will go up to uh, committee level and uh, further problems which could lead to suspension. So we need to go through that process. There's also paperwork that's required by the marshal uh, which is handed into the, uh, the golf uh, manager, director of golf and then that could lead also for, for the member to come in and make a personal statement uh, which would then go on to the GM and then as I said could go on to uh, committee level. Uh, fourth point is first aid. Um, in the hot sun, hot conditions here in Singapore, uh, the member can generally be under stress there from dehydration, general hot sun conditions which is 35, 36 degrees, high humidity, um, administering first aid, all our frontline marshals need to be currently certified, which is a two year certification. We need to make sure that doesn't expire. Of course, we're using professionals to go through this uh, first aid course, and all frontliners need to go through this. We also do every six months, we do a general check. We might do an emergency response where we use a dummy. So we'll put the dummy down and pretend that that's a member or a guest that's fallen over and then we need to take action, uh, checking for a pulse right through the whole system. Um, this here is the next point which is leading to, um, do we call the ambulance or is it just require general first aid? The next point here is for the marshal, extra marshal duties. Now the marshals here at TMCC will also be involved in the key uh, functions or what we call the um, touch point areas, which are bag drop, dropping the bag off, uh, putting the bag onto the golf buggies. The next point here is starter duties, which is on the first and 10th hole, which requires a little bit of administration because here on the first and 10th tee, we don't actually confirm the flight till they're actually on the tee. So we confirm who the players are in the flight and then this relates to uh, billing for golf buggies, okay? So, but the member themselves will come to the golf office um, if they have a guest, and so therefore that's billed directly. Uh, facility check uh, with the driving range, just to check whether the members are uh, paying at the, at the reception for their, for their guests, and also for the golf balls. Uh, golf course repairs, as the marshal's going round, we get them to do the divots, rake the bunkers, uh, ball marks, and repairing damage to uh, the golf course in general, and reporting problems to golf course maintenance, which could be irrigation, blowouts, uh, general leaks that could be damaged to the golf course, which was done by golfers, or a tree fell over, etc. 
So they're the main uh, five key points that we're doing here for martial training. So um, that's how we do it at TMCC. And I hope the points were, were, were very clear and easy to understand. Thank you.